Hey guys, I'm taking my glasses off for this one. This is a kind of a serious and solemn subject, so excuse me, I wanted to, you know, show due respect by doing that, and so, you know, you can see the real me uh, with my lazy eyes and stuff, but, and this is something that million, um, well, not millions, but quite a few commentators have said this is nothing new. Um, but yeah, community is dead. What can I say? Community is dead, guys. Um, here in the United States, we're, even though we should be with the amount of access to interconnected spaces and the internet and stuff like that that we have, including this right here, right now, um, we should be more connected than ever, but we're not, we're more separated than ever, we're more alienated from each other than ever, especially men, and, um, you guys know that this channel has a special focus on men, not that I have anything against women, not that I, um, at least I think neglect them i actually have a pretty sizable following of women they usually average around 30 to 40 percent of my viewership uh when i'm uploading content regularly but um but yeah and you're like okay why didn't you make a video like this earlier well i mean i just got um back from a trip to my home country as a lot of you will know I've not I've not been shy about it I'm from Guatemala I'm a uh, over there we have a, a a concept called Ladino which is more about your language and what culture you speak than less about your race but I'm a I'm a Ladino right I'm I'm mixed, I speak Spanish primarily, that's the community that I come from, um, and, like, community still exists over there, now that's not to say that it's perfect, but, like, I'll give you guys an example, mall culture is still alive, in Guatemala, like, people go out to malls, you see couples in malls, and now, you guys know that I'm left-leaning, I don't really like consumerist stuff too much, but I think we can all agree that in the West, malls, or at least in, on the American continent, and by America, I of course mean to include you know, all of it, not just North, but also uh, Mexico, Central, and South. Um, malls, especially in the United States in the early 2000s, um, were a gigantic part of how people met each other, how people formed communities, you know, you see couples, you go out there with your friends, a place where you could go without your parents and stuff and just connect, and Guatemala still has that, they're everywhere, and, you know, I'm not, I don't want to wave away the poverty, because that still exists, but if you're, like, a Latino, and you, like, have a middle class income, or whatever, like, most people live in, like, a gated communities with security and stuff like that, and the ur the urban planning guys is unfathomably based brother love brothers and sisters like literally everything you would want parks um tienditas like corner stores talleres 
shop uh, shops to repair your car um do all your stuff for daily living is within walking distance bro literally within walking distance and i mean you know usually they 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 have all those services close by and this is the case for most of those like condominiums those gated communities even the ones that are more in Guatemala City like that are even more urban than what I'm talking about right now have like indoor tennis courts and pools and gyms and like yeah that's kind of stuff exists in America but most of the middle class lives in like a suburban hellscape where you don't have these types of things which are called or these types of accesses to these common activities which are called like third places like that's just doesn't exist you need a car to get around everywhere and in Guatemala yeah you do need that too for the most part I mean there's um a thing called Transmetro for the metropolitan area around Guatemala City um but as, but outside of that, either you take a chicken bus, which are eh, they're not really accessible, and I'll get to that in a second. But like, still, man, I've just never seen such human-focused urban planning. It's so, it's, it's, it's so based so based like i i don't know what to say it, um now there is one problem of course and that's let's be honest guy latin guys latin america doesn't give a crap about disabled people they see us as tragic and like basically nothing is accessible um what i ended up doing is just using my electric chair inside the house um and for everything else, basically, you it's required that you go to or that I used a manual wheelchair, my manual wheelchair. But still, man, like, we just need to have third places again in the U.S. and have urban planning that isn't so based around cars and stuff like that yes we can still have that but like make make the streets actually freaking walkable bros like have they have tons of speed bumps everywhere too that's based um you know even with the lack of accessibility, I'm saying this as a disabled man, where, like, bro, something needs to be done. Oh, okay. Bye, guys. See you.